a demo guy, I am extremely excited to be introducing our brand new Bay Trail. It's going to be basically designed from the ground up to be the best paddle experience. And, you know, one thing I'm going to talk about, Intel is extremely famous for all of our performance, obviously, but something I'm going to be talking today when we show off a few of the experience here is flexibility. So, kind of a cool model that I have here, of course. Here we have an excellent Bay Trail tablet. And Two in Actually, one? Well, it's obviously a two-in-one. Here, I just turned my laptop into a tablet. So, you know, obviously designed with a great keyboard. It takes advantage of all your full Windows applications, so all the productivity that you have on your standard laptop, you can now take advantage in the incredible performance of our Bay Trail tablets. But when we look how thin something like this is, obviously, we are bringing the performance for Intel. Four cores, out of order execution, HD 4000 graphics. That's right, and we pack it all into this nice little package. And it's all been on Atom, designed from the ground up with power sipping architecture to give you that all day battery life. But what does really all that mumbo jumbo give you? It gives you incredible experience. So I got a couple of uh, Bay Trail tablets up here. Let's go ahead and walk through them. So again, back to flexibility, and not only in these beautiful form factors that I see here, but also in operating systems. So first of all, Let's talk about Android. So here on this system that I'm showing off, I'm actually showing some beautiful 1080p video, full HD, here on my 1080p screen on this tablet. But that's a great for consuming media, of course. But then it go, I can go ahead and, of course, just pop out here. This is the standard uh, Android operating experience that we've all seen before. Really smooth and extremely responsive, of course. But then again, it also has complete uh, application, uh, all the applications that we have on the Google Store are available for uh, compatibility as well. So actually what I'm playing here is a little, great little casual game called Candy Rush, which is something that is absolutely, yeah, really big here in Taiwan and actually really big worldwide. As a matter of fact, it is the number one free game in all of the Android Google Play Store. So, you know, pretty cool. I bet you can see it gives me my nice little uh, fix as far as a pretty fun addiction that I have in a casual gaming, but you know what? We can actually take that a step further. So let's talk about another choice. What if we want to go ahead and get into some Windows gaming as well? Now, this has been something that's been in the arena as far as only available on your big desktops for us discerning gamers who want to play PC games like uh, that we find on Steam and all those good first-person wonders. Well, actually, what I'm showing here on this Windows tablet is uh, Bay Trail running Torchlight 2. And Torchlight 2 is available off Steam and is actually a full PC game that you'd be running normally on a desktop or your full laptop in those HD 4000 graphics. No problem at all. No problem at all. Extremely smooth and then again, all optimized for touch. So we have this great tablet experience and really, as far as the HD 4000 graphics, is just like what we're playing on a laptop plus we get all the touch features. This is something as far as PC gaming goes that you can't find on any other platform at this level of performance. Pretty cool. but. We have a third tablet down here at the end. Again, another Windows tablet, and we want to show another little trick up our sleeves as far as the incredible performance of Bay Trail. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to play here on our quick video, and our buddies over at Gigabyte actually put together this film of local Taiwan footage, but looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's great. I mean, I mean that's, really good. That's uh, running local, I assume. No, absolutely not. But you know, first of all, we are looking at 4K video and not only four times the regular, uh, the regular size and quality of, of standard 1080p HD, but we're not running it local. And actually, we're not even streaming it over Wi-Fi. So uh, how do you think we're pulling that off, Tom? So I was really impressed with the graphics. We're talking about 3X, but that's not running local. And you're not streaming over Wi-Fi. Right. So maybe uh, I was talking about LTD coming later. Is that possible? Intel's LTE is here today. We have it integrated into this beautiful Bay Trail tablet. So not only do we get incredible experiences like these, but at the same time, I can go ahead and pause this video. We'll go ahead and move over. And thank you very much for our partners over at Far East Tune, that's, uh, our Far East Home that's letting us use their trial network to order to pull this off. But I can go ahead and multitask while paying 4K video. And that's really what the promise of Bay Trail is. Incredible performance from the cores, to the network, to the graphics, and then of course all that all day battery life. It's a home run on all fronts. Well said, Craig. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So as we shift gears from tablets, we can't ignore what I call a popular debate. What's the popular debate? There's a couple of camps on this here. 
is the PC dead or is it alive and well? Which one's right? Liang Gu. The answer is both. The PC of the past is dying. Hence our declaration of Computex two years ago to reinvent the notebook. Together, we gathered to say we need to reinvent the notebook. It was clear what consumers were wanting by embracing tablets. We needed to reinvent the notebook to make it an exciting device for the future, and not the notebook like we've known in the past. We also announced at that point to do that, we had to completely overhaul our architecture that was already two years of planning. We had never, ever done anything of that magnitude of Intel before. That was the beginning of setting forth the path leading to Ultrabook. We didn't wait two years till today with Ultrabook. We got started with second generation core Sandy Bridge, third generation core Ivy Bridge. But we set that path going. And it required a bold vision and bold actions. And over the past two years, we've made some great progress. And you, our partners here in Taiwan, have stepped up big. You've done great, a great job of tuning touch, a great experience on Ultrabooks, two-in-ones, done things to make some of these two-in-one form factors easier to work with, like a one-key release to simply detach the tablet from the keyboard. Cost reduction is so important. Reducing costs with new aluminum stamp process. There's just been a surge of innovation in advance of fourth generation core. So today, two years after this initiative was announced, the puzzle's complete. We're introducing the fourth generation Intel Core processor. Now. Literally built up from the ground for Ultrabook and two one like devices. This is the very first PC system on a chip. SOCs are common for phones or tablets. Very first one for PC, for thinner, lighter, awesome, high performing devices. That's enabling. This foundation is enabling this new era of two in one computing. Because the form factors now, from what you'll see, are going to be a step forward significantly in what we've seen in the last couple of years. Our new graphics engine branded Intel Iris, is delivering built-in graphics at the same level of performance as discrete graphics. See the quote below relative to battery life. The real magic is the heavy focus on reducing idle power characteristics to levels unheard of from high-performance processors. But enough of what I can say. Let's run a video of what some of our most respected local leaders have to say. Our customers are very excited about the fourth generation Intel Core. They see the potential for great innovation. TBK is working customers throughout the PC computing ecosystem to provide the most innovative touch solutions as Ultrabook convertibles with fourth generation core reach the market. Thanks to the uh, Intel's fourth generation core i technology, we see um, uh, even higher performance uh, with very uh, uh, amazing power management. Uh, that's the uh, result. So that's the, uh, we can design a product like uh, Acer Aspire R7 having the ESO technology enjoying uh, the performance of the uh, clamshell, but also this convertible into tablets. That's a wonderful technology. Fourth Gen Core has inspired Quanta to develop innovative ultrabook convertible for our customers. This has never been a processor like this. Such great performance and great battery life. These are uh, two in one. Combine what you love about tablets and what you need from PCs. I'm proud to say that the new ASUS ZenBook US301 will be the world's first Ultrabook to feature Intel's Iris graphics, providing the most incredible performance with all-day computing. With the new ASUS Transformer, consumers will no longer have to choose between a great tablet and a great PC. 
They can have the best of both worlds in one single device. Simply put, the fourth generation core is, is the foundation for this reinvention. And reinvention is driven by amazing innovation. As a matter of fact, this is our largest generational leap ever. We have some amazing generation, generational leaps in the past. It's the biggest performance improvement ever in battery life, generation over generation. Some perspective, up to 13 days in standby mode. Ivy Bridge was four days. Nine hours of HD video playback. Doubling graphics performance, generation over generation. I mentioned what Iris was bringing to the platform. What does that mean? What does that deliver to us? A stunning 3D performance for great gaming, but brilliant display and media for everyday use. Huge improvements, but getting here wasn't easy. As I said, we ripped up the roadmap, literally, and retooled our process. Intel's never done this before, especially in the time frame we did it. We literally cut the power in half, in half. But user expectations continued to evolve. So we shifted our thinking a little bit from generic benchmarks to experience. And then we decided, let's cut the power in half again. This is the most seismic change ever. But again, instead of talking about this, let's see it in action. Craig, can I call you out again? Absolutely. I've, I've told the audience about the amazing improvement in battery life, power management, graphics. You've got to bring it home. Well, we showed some gaming before, but you know, of course, we're going to take it up a notch with Iris. So uh, what we're going to do is a quick little comparison and show, you know, obviously with Iris and some great performing graphics, we get tons of great 4K video that we can go ahead and process as well, triple monitor support and all the other goodies. But gaming, of course, is my favorite, Tom. So let's go ahead and do a little comparison. Okay. So as you can see here, I actually have an Iris uh, graphics enabled notebook here on our fourth generation core. And I also have a three year old notebook on our it's a 2010. Sure, looks like it. Yep, back, uh, see, uh, back here we used to call this a laptop in 2010, now we call it a fat book. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, we're actually going running the same game, which is Grid 2 from our friends over at Codemasters. And what you're looking at is, well, we got it as high as we could on the 2000 core graphics, but you're looking at, uh, it's basically about a quarter of the frame rate. You guys try driving at like 13 frames a second. It's really difficult. So the right, the right side, Intel Iris graphics. That is exactly right. Look at how smooth that is. You get all those great effects, the burnout smoke from the tires, the reflection off the car, all the other shadows and everything. This is a, a game that we have cranked up all the way. But correct. This is, for an experience like this, serious gamers like yourself, but always you have to use discrete graphics in the past, right? But that's exactly right. And you know, it just hasn't been a good enough experience. Well, we're blowing all the doors out on this one. Not only can you get this level of incredible performance, but you can take it everywhere that you go. Coffee shop, airplane, no one's going to stop my game from now on, Tom, I'll tell you right now. But it's great to talk about all this great high performance graphics, but let's talk about incredible mobility as well. On the other, on the other end of uh, spectrum of Haswell here and our fourth generation core, that is what sweet. I have here is a fanless fourth generation core design that we have here in a two-in-one. Feel how light that is, Tom. Just like a feather. And what that is basically going to enable is you have that all-day battery life, total mobility, up to 50% more than the previous generation. And uh, that's what the Haswell promises, ultimate mobility and paired with incredible performance and graphics like we've never shown before. Thanks, Tom. You showed it perfectly. Thank you, sir. A lot easier than talking to. <laughs> that's correct. Right. Thank you. So this great innovation is allowing us usher in this new era. And as Johnny Shee said, why should you have to choose? Why, why should consumers or business users have to choose between a laptop and a tablet? The answer is they shouldn't. So, so let's take a closer look at this two and one. This is important. I want to walk through the slide here because two and one means a real laptop as we know it. 
where you're going to get full PC performance. You're going to be able to multitask if you do on a PC, a laptop. It's designed for productivity. As consumers, as, as, as uh, workers in, in business, it's got security built in. You know how important that is. And it runs all the PC applications that have been created from the beginning of time. The tablet. You don't want to sacrifice anything. Tablets have been so successful and so sought after by consumers. They have to be designed for touch, with a lightweight, thin design, long battery life, and, and be real simple in terms of responsiveness and a beautiful user interface. And of course, a major part of this experience is a large apps ecosystem. And with that, you get a combination of two. You get stunning PC performance with tablet-like mobility. And this isn't just me talking. We hit the road and did some research globally and went into the homes of people all over the world. It was a qualitative survey of preferred form factor for Windows 8 Touch. We went into these homes and showed these people these devices. 2x, as many people chose, the 2-in-1 over a tablet. And we know how popular tablets are today. We're excited about participating in this growing segment. But twice as many people chose the 2-in-1. And this is all over the world. I'd like to acknowledge some of the designs. They're early. Remember now, we're launching fourth generation core with flat core now. These devices here will be available at the end of back to school and holiday. So thank you to our OEMs that did a wonderful job getting these ready for Computex quite early. As you can see, we have up here the Dell Ferris wheel. We've got detachables from HP, from Toshiba, from Acer over here, uh, and Asus. We have the Lenovo foldable product here, and we have a Panasonic foldable and a Dell foldable. These are already ready today. And again, thanks to our partners for doing such a great job. And we'll be in the market the late part of back to school, but for sure for holiday. So that's showing you two in one. But I have to say, I was talking to the local team. I said, I really want to be able to get this two in one point hammer home. How do I really do that beyond talking and showing? Is there someone that can do a better job of me representing what two in one is? And they said, absolutely. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome. Jolyn Sai. Jolyn, how are you? I'm good. You made it down the step okay? Yeah. Made a little dance move there. So, have you ever been to a Computex? No, it's my first time. It's like as big as my concert, but it's kind of quiet. <laughs> yeah, come on, make some noise! Yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably not as fun as a concert, but I'm, I think you probably heard me, and you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to convey yeah. this two-in-one. A yes. notebook when you need it, a tablet when you want it, and you're a living example of two-in-one. As everybody here in Taiwan knows, you're the most famous best dancer and the most famous best musician. Thank you. But did you ever, throughout your life, when you were growing up, think about saying, to be the best musician ever, I'd give up dancing, or to be the best dancer ever, I'd give up singing? Did it ever cross your mind? No, I wouldn't choose between one of them. I like to combine both. So I'm a perfect example of two in one. You are. Yeah. You are a perfect example. <laughs> well, do you happen to have a tablet or a laptop at home? Yeah, I have both, but I find it's really troublesome for me to travel, but it's really heavy. But I need both of them. Well, you know so what? it would be great if I, they can just come by well, can together. Can you take a walk with me over here? And we could maybe uh, take a little look at what we have in these two-in-one devices. It looks like a notebook. Well, this, Nothing this special. Is really nice detachable device. <laughs> Would you like to try this notebook? Yeah. Uh, oh! 
Did I just break it? You didn't break it. You I have now just taken that belt. Wow, it's a tablet. I you can't play Candy that? Crush on it. Candy Crush? We just showed yeah. that one of your favorite games. And it's very light. It's very light. Yeah, for me, I don't need to do like weight training with this pet. <laughs> now, I suspect when you're mixing your music and doing things, you need the performance of a notebook, but yeah, you like it. Yeah, for sure. Like any one of us like to sit back, relax, and enjoy and it. And have a hot bath with it. So you're thinking that looks pretty good? Yeah. Well, let's put that down. I'll show you another 2 one device. It's a little bit different. I can break it too. Well, you won't break this one, I don't think, but look at that. Wow, it's like gymnastic. It is. It's like dancing. One of my dancing moves like doing this and like... So you can maybe take this device and then play some of your music, but it's another yeah, example of 2 and one Cool. Do you want to have one? <laughs> That's so special. Can you take out me to take Oh, great. That's so special. Pull out your phone there and let's do it. Say two in one. Two in one. Yay. All right. Thank you so much for joining. And maybe we can introduce you on one of the two in ones. But ladies and gentlemen, Thank the real life two in one. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Go inside. <laughs> Excellent. As stunning as those designs are, form factor innovation is just not good enough on its own. Last year, I talked about, there we go, matchmaking human senses and computing. Because it's really about experience and what technology makes possible. We're well on the path with what I showed last year, with voice, with touch, with gesture, with facial logging. You'll see a little bit more of that in a second. But like humans, computers need two eyes as well for depth. So today, we're bringing that to life by announcing the Creative Sense 3D camera, which will be available in Q3 to again enhance this more natural interface. But we're not stopping there. Intel will be integrating depth cameras uh, into the platform next year as well. So this is very important that we extend the great form factors to match make with our human senses. And that's what we talked about last year. And I think it's foundational for the best experience. So what I want to do to wrap up here is bring it all together and show you two-in-ones, but in real-life scenarios, not canned demos, and also integrate this natural uh, experience of computer. So I'd like to call out on stage uh, Dr. Jigna. Jigna, come on out. And student Craig. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. So I'm going to let you uh, just walk through this uh, in the day of the life. All right. Why don't we go ahead and start with me? So, you know, Tom, as you know, I'm a university student. You can tell from my awesome hat and also my very youthful demeanor. But as you can see, I have a, uh, I wanted, when I'm going off to college, I really wanted to pick the ultimate two-in-one device that was for me. But, you know, as a young student, I wanted to go ahead and get all that great tablet experience that I really, really wanted. But I have a lot of schoolwork to do as well as uh, some other gaming and entertainment stuff that I want to do. So I always want the power and utility of the PC and laptop as well. But here's the best part, is that going out to school, I can choose to have both without the compromise and actually do so very affordably as well, like the machine that I have right here. I thought your parents could buy you both the tablet and the notebook, but you probably get a pretty good deal for two more. Absolutely right. So it you know, puts this awesome machine in my hand. So let me show you what I do with it on a regular basis. Good. So, you know, first thing, you know, as a student, obviously I like to do a lot of all my coursework, of course, email, surfing the web, consume a lot of media, music, movies, that sort of stuff. And you do any work? I do work every once in a while. I'll show you that in a second, I swear. But let's get to the gaming first, right? You know what I'm talking about? So uh, as you can see here, I actually have, this is a uh, localized game that's actually optimized completely for touch. So while I have my two-in-one in this great tablet mode here while I'm on the road, I can go ahead, oh, this is excellent, and go ahead and just get this great touch optimized experience with the full power of core graphics. But then again, if I'm somewhere that I want to go ahead and put to a desk, 
all of a sudden all of my touch controls go away and I can use this as a normal traditional clam cell. Yeah, just the uh, regular, just like on regular PC gaming, I go ahead and just can take control completely this way. But then again, I'm ready to leave the library and boom. Just like that, I'm back into a really cool gaming experience like this. The touch controls come right back up and I'm ready to go. Oh, sorry, Tom. I just got a small uh, interruption here. Actually, it looks like uh, my buddies just sent me an SMS here that I got received on here on SMS my phone. SMS on your phone? It came right to your uh, tablet. Well, that's right. All my, so uh, anything that's uh, connected on my phone, we actually use a great piece of software from Intel called Connected Framework, and it connects all of my devices together. So all of my messages, emails, text messages, they all come directly to my Ultrabook, so I don't have to break my workflow or any of that other stuff. So, so this is this compute continuum we were talking about, about having a more seamless experience across your devices. Absolutely. Good so, to see it at work. Well, I'm going to tie back to my friend here real quick. Here's, uh, so I hate this. The second I want to go ahead and tie back, here's the deal. I lose half the real estate of my tablet because of a huge keyboard. So let's just get rid of the pain there. I never forget that I have a keyboard here at the ready. And just like that, the keyboard goes away. I can go ahead and tie a quick note here to my friends. Be right there. And just like that, snap my Pablo back together, and I'm right back into gaming, just like I was, uh, just like I had never left. Seamless experience, pretty cool. Huh? Quite a good, student, Craig. Absolutely. So, Dr. Chigna, what do you have to show me? So, Tom, I have my favorite piece of technology right here. Now, being a doctor, I have to sign into you know 30 or 40 systems every single day, and instead of going to every system and typing in my password, now I can just go and stand in front of it, and boom, I'm automatically logged in. And not only that, I'm logged in securely, so I never have to worry about you know typing in my password or somebody even stealing my password and getting access to my patient's data. Now, the good thing about my Google One is in tablet mode like this, it allows me to get closer to my patients. So I can go and stand by their bedside and talk to them versus being stuck back at the desk. But if I do need to take extensive notes, I can always pop out my keyboard. It is right there. I can go ahead and take my notes right here. Now, the, the great thing about this Google One is I have you know, all my USB peripherals are available to me right here. There you go. So you spoke about the 3D creative camera. This is like adding two eyes to my system over here. Now, a lot of times at the hospital, I'm gloved up and in, you know, in the sterile environment, I really don't want to touch my screen, right? Now with gestures, I can go ahead and manipulate this object right here, just using my hands without having to touch my anything. Last night? Yes, it is your leg, and you know, mm -hmm. it's like it's just fine. You won't need the tendon surgery after all. Now, speaking of depth camera. A lot of times I have to talk to my colleagues and get you know, consultation on medications and other medical issues. So I happen to video, ch video chat quite a bit. So what the- You're using some serious performance here as you've shown some of these times. Absolutely, and it gives me a seamless experience. These capabilities require a lot of computing power, but I don't have to worry about any of that. As you can see, it's Dr. Lou at the other end. Now what this camera is doing, it's capturing uh, him and completely eliminating the background. So, you know, in the noisy hospital environment with a lot of distractions, it gives me the ability to have a private conversation, like, like Dr. Lewis. Oh, I get it. So, so if he was on the golf course, you wouldn't know it. Absolutely. He could be in the office or the golf course. I will never find out. Now, you know, we've seen how, uh, how my Ultrabook 2 and one Ultrabook here can, can see me. But not only that, it can also talk to me. And let me show you what I mean by that. Dr. Lou here just told me about a medication called amitriptyline, and I have no oh, idea. Amitriptyline. Oh, sure. And I have no idea how to spell that. But I let my 2 in 1 Ultrabook do the job for me. Hello, Dragon. Search Google for amitriptyline. And as you can see, it brought up amitriptyline right here. So when I'm walking around the hospital trying to do my job, I don't have to worry about typing in stuff. I can just talk to my, my two-in-one ultrabook here, and it just responds. Excellent. Real practical examples too, doctor. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. So let me go back to my student here. Are you going to still be gaming? Are you going to show me how you do some of your uh, thesis, term papers, you know, kind of student stuff? I'm not ready to get to work yet, Tom. We got some, we got some movie watching to do, right? But, oh, you know, gosh. it just kind of took me off. Who's paying for your education? Partly you are, but um, <laughs> let's, uh, 
Let's uh, go ahead. All the great tools that Dr. Jigno was able to uh, put together was, uh, you know, the great voice and all the gesture. And I can use those tools as student as well to have a little bit of fun. And it's actually a year ago today, I believe, uh, the last Computex we showed off voice. And honestly, Tom, I've been using it ever since. And it, it allows me to be completely hands-free as a student. I can go ahead and update social networking and all those other goodies. But one of my favorite usage models is that I completely go hands-free. So me and a bunch of my buddies, whether we have drinks or snacks in our hands, we can go ahead and lay back the ultrabook, and I can just go ahead and uh, control my media from afar, even when we're all backed up in the television screen that's connected via my, uh, via my notebook here. So let's go ahead and give this a run. Hello, Dragon. Oh. Pause. Play. And just like that, completely hands-free. So I can be standing away and all of my buddies can be huddled around and we get this great experience. But, all right, Tom, I guess it's time to go to work, huh? Let's see it. All right, so you know, while I can go ahead and control all that media, here's the deal is I actually am doing some work here while I'm in Taipei's. And my thesis that I'm doing is actually about learning another language, uh, learning a second language. And I actually, the language that I'm studying is Mandarin. And uh, also, so it, basically I'm able to have all of my great, uh, all of my great schoolwork and interactive programs that I have here, like this optimized touch uh, exercise. So I can go ahead and write all my characters in. There we go. Perfect, it says. And so yeah, I'll go ahead and get all my, but you know, in addition to actually using this as my, uh, as my coursework, I can go ahead and I have tons of other research. I have a word processing program open here. I'm at, as you can see, I have a, a web page up that I was doing some research on for Wiki. And then of course I also have a dictionary that I'm doing. But you know, when I'm actually typing this paper, wouldn't it be great to, be great to have them all available here at once? So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back my exercise here really quick. There we go. And then just like that, go ahead and put my word processor over to the side there. So at the same time, I can go through all of my great items here. I can go ahead and, well, let's just go ahead and type while we're doing this. So I just do a quick convert and can type in while I'm doing all my translations, all that other stuff, and have the research side by side. Don't have to break my workflow. And as a student, especially one who's on a deadline, that sort of capability is invaluable. So a lot of multitasking, a lot of back and forth between tablet and notebook. That's exactly right. So every, all the, the entire device, everything that I want, completely flexible and adapts to me. That's the part I love. Your grades have been I think they are. All right, doctor. Now, I'm going to make one last visit over here. Yeah. So now you spoke about adding senses to computing, right? And we spoke about you know seeing and voice and hearing. But what this is doing here is actually it's reacting to me. So as I look into the camera here, it's it's looking at the veins under my forehead and measuring my pulse. Now this is such such an awesome technology, especially for my patients. So you know when I can just have them look into their camera, gather all this data, and send it to me. They don't even need to come into the office. This is just so cool. So you could have read my blood pressure last night when we were going through this? Absolutely. Oh. Do you want to try it right now? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, you know, Craig spoke about multitasking. My two in one audiobook is just absolutely fabulous for that. So what I can do is on one side, I can look at patient's history. And at the same time, since my keyboard is right here, I can go ahead and take all the notes I want. But speaking of taking notes, I want to show you another piece, the stylus. The stylus is awesome. It is such a lifesaver for me. For a doctor. Absolutely. So you know, you know, us doctors are infamous for having very bad handwriting. And now yes. with, with tools like these, I never have to worry about, you know, my, my nurse understanding what I've written. So I can go ahead and use this tool right here to convert exactly what I've written into text and send it over. So my nurse will never have a problem reading my prescription and not getting it wrong. Not only that, I can actually go ahead and sign all my prescriptions right here on my tablet, right? So I can, there I go, go ahead and sign it right here. So the stylus is such, such a cool piece for me. It just gives an absolute lifesaver. Now, one last thing. I'm done for the day, I've signed my prescriptions, but my, my two-in-one ultrabook has outlasted me. 
the great battery life. I, I haven't had to plug it in even once in my entire shift. All that great capability, back and forth, using voice, using gesture, face, facial recognition, a full shift, we've got battery life. Right. right, great performance, great battery life, great mobility. Just what I need to get through my day. Excellent. Craig, are you done for the day as well? Yeah, I'm all finished up. Got all that research. Of course, you know, I'm going to get back to some gaming here in a little bit, Tom. But, you know, that's the best part about a student is that this device right here is the best in a tablet and is the best in a laptop. And I get them both in one. So, back to you, Tom. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it, guys. So, it begs the question. Oops, go back, please. Back, please. Thank you. What makes all this innovation and reinvention possible? I think we've got to figure it out. It's our magic. When we talk about our magic at Intel, we start with, we say sand, because silicon comes from sand. And that's how our wafers are produced. And Moore's Law is expensive. There's, there's a strong commitment, and year over year, a commitment made in terms of billions and billions of dollars. We're on a run rate of about $12 billion a year in capital spending to leave the industry because we believe in this opportunity I've talked about today. We imprint tiny transistors to make these CPUs. And transistors is our core competency. For perspective, there's 1.4 billion transistors in a fourth generation core CPU. That's 60 times the total population of Taiwan standing on a postal stand. Incredible. That's why we have an 18-month lead, and why we've already shipped hundreds of millions of 22 nanometer product. Our architecture, it's pervasive in every type of computing. Desktop, notebook, tablet, phone, server, embedded devices all over the world is pervasive. And in-house, we have a world-class software not just product like the Mac product, but enabling it to tune and optimize to make all these platforms run better and better. But in spite of our magic, we can't do it alone. We need pure magic. The world's best design innovators are right here on this island in Taiwan. The incredible manufacturing scale right here on this island. 94% of notebooks come from Taiwan. 80% of branded tablets come from Taiwan. So your magic is every bit as important as ours. And at the end of the day, it's all about winning together. This industry pace, as I said, is faster and faster than ever, which brings wonderful opportunity. The fourth generation core and Bay Trail enable this new era of two and ones. It's up to us to make it happen. Usher in this new era, take advantage, and lead the industry like we've been doing for years and years. Because together, we're strongest when we join together. So as I conclude, my final message is, Shishay. <laughs> <laughs>